Notice how I have my customers table. Well, I'd like to do a mailing to my customers, but I need some mailing labels. We can do our mailing labels right from Access. Let's pick on the, the customers table. I'll come up here and I'll pick on Create. And I'll use Labels right here. It says Labels. Good. That's going to start the label wizard. So I'll pick on English. I'll pick on Sheet Feed. That's the, most printers are Sheet Feed. The, the printers with the, the holes in the side, the, those are continuous. Sometimes you still see this, but I think most of us have Sheet Feed. Now, see where it says Filter My Manufacturer? The one that everybody chooses is Avery. Now, you know, maybe HP you find somewhere, but everybody uses Avery because I find those at Office Max or Staples, you know? So I'll pick on Avery. I'll pick on Next. Oh, then I want you to pick the, lab the label size up here. Make sure you do that. So these are all the Avery products. Most people pick one that's called 5160. It's a really common size. So that's just a standard address label, Avery 5160. I'll pick on Next. Here you can change the font and the font size right there, but there's another way you can do that later on. So I'll pick on Next. Okay. You're going to build your prototype label from your field. So I'll double click on con company name. On the next row, I'll use contact name. On the next row, I'll use um, address. Then I'll use a city. Now I'm going to type in a comma. The state here is called region. Then I'll type in a space and I'll double click on postal code. So you're going to build your fields from, uh, you're going to build your prototype label from your fields. And you can use as many as you wanted to. And you can even type in there as well. So I'll click on that last line and I'll double click on country. That should make a good label. I'll pick on next. I can sort the label if I wanted to. I'll sort it by postal code. Pick on next. And then that's it for the uh, wizard. I'm going to pick on finish. Now, when you run the labels, you almost always get this message. You can just click on OK. It, it doesn't really mean anything. And now, just like that, what was that? Two minutes? We made some really nice labels. So use the label wizard. The way I got to the label wizard was I picked on, uh, if you wanted to change the font and format, you can always do that in design view, which we are right now, of course. But uh, what I did was I picked on create. First, you pick your table. Here, it's important that you pick your table first because it doesn't give you a chance to pick your table once you're in the wizard. So you pick your table first or even a query. Then I pick on create and then labels and then you run through the label wizard. Notice how Next time you run that, it'll already have Avery and 5160 or whichever size that you chose.